My name is Abel Silaujwe. I'm a cellist and singer uh, and also an improviser. And uh, I bring classical music together with African music in the same space. So we're doing a, a beautiful and unique program, uh, a commission that stemmed from a friendship. This is a double concerto for the cello and the chora. Uh, full of improvisation, full of African rhythm. Uh, really exciting because this has come out of such a, a great uh, friendship with Sekou Keita. I think he's one of the most incredible musicians um, I've ever come across. I think he is a force of nature that is so creative that pushes you into different boundaries of creativity. So that really excites me. You know, we wrote this piece inspired by our cultures but but also by our friendship and our friendship is based on spontaneity on humor uh, it's based uh, on not knowing what's going to happen next it's based on uh, philosophies that come from home about how we create family about how we speak to each other so it, it kind of goes on and on about how we live this life what is a kora a kora is what you could call a west african harp an incredible instrument and it's actually got a really big gourd for uh, creating resonance and that gourd is made out of what we call a calabash uh, which can be uh, pumpkin skin dried over time so when the strings play into this gourd it creates the most most beautiful sound. The way I would describe the way I am on stage is a man on a mission to embody the music or to embody the moment. I think we are gifted as musicians in a way of bringing imagination to the fore or making people see images, making people realize certain concepts so they may actually heal or change their life. So that's, that's the goal for my, for my music and playing. When the audience comes to a concert, my experience is that the stage and the boundaries are dissolved. So uh, sometimes in my concerts we end up all singing together or, or you know, some sort of participation as we all make music together because actually the feeling of audience and, and artist kind of dissipates and it becomes spiritual music like that way, like going to church. At a church there is no audience uh, or going to a space where we gather for ourselves and um, for all the people in that room. So it feels as if um, yeah, we are there to create something quite special with the people that are there in that time. You will hear a lot of incredible harmony. You will hear um, a mixture of African culture ranging from South African culture to West African culture. Uh, and you'll also be able to hear completely spontaneous uh, music, improvisation between uh, two really great friends, but also uh, between Sekou Keita and myself in a, such a virtuosic manner uh, where I have to stay switched on at all times. So there will be an incredible amount of, of rhythm and dance. Yo yo yo, yo 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 yo